goldminingbasics.com. Uh, we're up here on the river today. I'm working on my crevicing video, but uh, this last week I got uh, been getting quite a few inquiries on uh, how to pan. And uh, went and look, took a look on the internet to see what videos are available, and there's quite a few. Some of them are okay, some of them are, are pretty bad. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm gonna give a short video on, on how to pan at least the way I do it. I was uh, taught how to pan back in 60, 61 by an old family friend. Uh, he was in his mid to late 80s at the time. And uh, later on, I, I uh, got a little more lessons from a, a hard rock miner who was quite a panner. And uh, he was in his 90s at the time. So basically what I'm gonna show you is the, the methods I learned. They've worked great for me for the last 50 years and so, uh, the uh, one, one thing about the pans, the pans really doesn't matter that much other than a few cr crucial things. On a pan, you want a wide bottom. The wider the bottom, the better. Uh, good sharp riffles are nice, not necessary, but they are nice. Um, I prefer, you can, get a, you can get a pan anywhere from four inches to 18 inches. I prefer, if I'm gonna do a lot of panning, I prefer the 14 inch pan, which is what this one is. Um, if I'm gonna do a little sampling, metal tech stuff like that, most of the time I carry a 10 inch pan. A 17 inch pan, um, they're hard to handle. They're, when they're full, they're big, they're heavy. I, I, I truly feel you can do more work with a 14 inch pan. Um, when you're panning, there's just a, a few critical things uh, you got to know. In basic mining, there's, we have our general rules. And the rules can be fudge. You know, sometimes you find gold on the outside of the river. Um, you know, there's a lot of fudging in the rules. Panning, there's only one rule and you can't break it. And that's when you're panning, you always shake the pan either flat or with this portion of the pan at the lowest point. If you turn your pan like that and just shake it a little bit, that gold is gone. It will shoot right out of the bottom of that pan. So anytime you shake your pan, you gotta make sure that this, this portion of the pan right here is the lowest or it's flat. Other than that, that's the only real true rule in panning. Now I'm gonna take and uh, go over here, dig out a crevice and uh, get some gravel and uh, we'll start on the panning. All right, we got a pan full of gravel here and you'll notice uh, I got all kinds of uh, larger rocks in my pan. Uh, a lot of the, the sites will tell you to uh, sift your material before you pan it. Uh, you can do that. It'll save you a little bit of time, but it's really not necessary. Um, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, screening the material if you don't have one. Uh, another thing I want to show you here is um, I've got four small, I don't know if you can see those or not, but they're four small round lead BBs. Uh, when you're first learning how to pan, you don't really know for sure if you got gold in your pan because not every pan's got gold in it. Uh, so you don't know if you're panning your gold out or there just wasn't any gold there. So when you learn how to pan, take your four small BBs and after you got a pan full of gravel, you drop those right on top. That way, uh, and just forget about them. That way when you get to the bottom of the pan, if you still have your four BBs, you know you're doing it right because those BBs will roll out uh, quicker than the gold will. So uh, let's get over to the creek and uh, do a little bit of panning. Okay, first thing we're gonna wanna do is you put your pan under the water, get everything wet and just wash it. Make sure you got all the mud and clay off the rocks, you just wash it good. Then bring it up. 
At this point, you can go in circles, you can go side to side, it really doesn't matter. All you want to do is just get the gravel in suspension. Your gold's going to work its way straight down through the gravel. When you're shaking, it's all in suspension, and gold being the heaviest thing is going to head straight down. See, once you got it good and clean, get rid of your dirty water, and then you can just start panning. Now you want to get it around where your riffles are, uh, where you're dumping. If you got riffles in your pan, if you got any big rocks, just scrape them off the top. You're not going to lose any gold because your gold's down there ways now. Okay, you take that and then just dip it. And now when you're dipping it, do not throw your pan forward. Don't throw it forward like that. You want to take and just dip it down, pull it back towards you a little bit, and let the water wash just the top off. Do it away, then bring it back down. Shake it good. Doesn't hurt to stir things up. And then wash it off again. Simple as that. Dip it and pull it back. Just keep doing that. You work your way down. Now as you're doing this, you want to watch the back edge. You don't watch the front edge. Uh, your gold will show up back here first. You get it down there. Now, I've got a smaller amount of gravel in here. So what I'm doing here, I'm getting it down, and as I bring it up, I'm putting this lowest portion of the pan right here, getting it at the lowest portion, and as I bring it up, I just shake it so that's the lowest. You make sure your gravel never gets within an inch of the edge. You always keep that gravel back. Just shake it, then wash it. And then you can just reach in there, pull your big rocks out, rinse them off, make sure you're not throwing away a nugget. Now after you get down to a certain point, uh, the riffles, rather than helping, start to hinder. So, I like to go around to the smooth side of the pan, make sure your, your gravel is centered in that lowest portion. You can look down, you can see from here the center is right there, so my gravel is even on both sides. So I know that is the lowest portion. You shake that, and then when you start to clean, you stop shaking. Don't shake anymore. Dip it in, pull it out. And just wash that top off. Keep your eye back here, because I'm starting to see black sand showing up already. Now, when you get down to this point, you don't want to go around. You want to go side to side when you're shaking your pan. That way your gold works down rather than around. You want to get it down in that hole. You just keep repeating the procedure. Working that top gravel off. Haven't seen any gold yet. Starting to get worried. I got quite a bit of black sand in there, so I'm I'm hoping we got a little bit of gold in there. If nothing else, we have our lead in there. Now I got a few little rocks in there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean those out. You just drag them around. Make sure they're not gold. Make sure they're clean. And then go back to cleaning. Now, at this point, I've been taught several different ways. It just dip straight, or you can wash it side to side. It's personal preference. They both work good. I prefer the side to side. Now, we're getting down low enough where we can take a look. I'm seeing my lead showing up. We can take a look and see if there, we got any gold in there. Now, you put a little bit of water in the pan, you shake it down, and then you roll the pan. And it'll start washing at it. Oh, boy, we got some gold. You can see here we got a piece of gold. There's my four pieces of lead. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
I've got a couple pieces of gold there, but I got my lead right here. Now, we want to finish cleaning this up. There's a couple ways to do it. You can just keep washing this way, being very, very careful. You watch this back edge. Don't watch the front. Um, if your gold gets up here, it's gone. So you got to watch as soon as it shows up, you stop washing and you settle it again. See, I got a real fine piece showing up right there. Now, what you can do is you bring this down here by your riffles, put a little water in there, and then you rotate your pan. You wash all that top off until your gold shows up. There's your gold right there. Now, let's just get that lead out of here right now while we can. And don't put the lead in the river. We want to take all our lead home with us. Anytime you're mining, you find lead, just go ahead and uh, take that home with you, clean the river up. Now, we're going to wash that until your gold shows up. Then we can just leave that right there. Come around here, get all this sand down, you leave that there, and then you work that sand, making sure you don't have any pieces of gold in there. And you can usually get rid of that real easy. And I got one little fine piece there, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that. Now at this point, um, I just take my snuffer bottle, suck everything up, and move on. I don't like to spend a lot of time uh, down on the river cleaning up because uh, time down here is precious. Uh, I got a lot of time at home on rainy days. I can clean all this up. We're going to go ahead and clean this up anyway to show you how it's done. Now, you just take your pan, get that gold down as low as you can, and you work that, just dipping it straight down in, pulling it back. And that gold will sit right there. And you get down there, and you just kind of work your pan back and forth like that, and it'll walk that black sand right down, and it'll leave your gold right there in the back. A little more water in there, work that black sand, and we got her down where we got next to nothing. Now at this point, the easiest way to do this, just wash it around like that and pull your gold back. Leave your gold up there. And then go ahead and uh, pan out that last little bit. Yep, we got nothing left. Everything's up top. And that's it. We got just our good clean gold. It's as easy as that. Okay, uh, that was kind of fun and uh, I got a little bit of gold to take home with me. Um, one thing I did want to mention was the color of the pan. Today I used a green pan because the green pan shows the black sand a little better than the black one. And uh, I figured for the video uh, that would be a good thing. Uh, the color of the pan really isn't all that important. Um, you know, the, the green pans, the blue pans, they show the black sand a little bit better. The blue's kind of middle of the road. The black shows the gold better. Um, it's all personal preference. The, the one thing you want to remember on the pan is you want a, a pan with a wide bottom. You don't want a narrow bottom. It's hard for that gold to get down there. That and uh, don't shake your pan when your lips down and uh, you're good to go. Now if you uh, like what you see, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing videos uh, hopefully the rest of this summer. and. Uh, if there's something you want me to cover, uh, let me know. And uh, if I know something about it, I'll, uh, I'll try to cover it. Until then, you have a wonderful day.